Let's go down. Let's see what's down here. Oh, what the hell are you? Goodies from Griggs. Good goodies. Give Griggs gold. Griggs gives gift. Okay, so he's a merchant. What do we got? And you know what? I can use this. How much money do we have? 1630. Wait, why is this free? Huh. This we already have. Flowing water cap. Alright, I'll tell you what. Buddy, I'm going to sell you... How much would you take for this? Ten? Ugh. I kind of want to know what this is about. We're good, we're good. I found um, a different wand cap that functions like a dash. And I was saying... I was wondering if that was one of the reasons why you, you didn't build in a dash to the game. Because there's many different ways of doing it. Because this also gives you a dash with regenerative abilities. And I thought, well, that would be pretty neat if that was the intention that went into it. I haven't really gone much further. I met the first merchant named Griggs, who talks very matter-of-factly. And I picked this up because I want to try this out. I wanted to just try as many different um, caps as I can. But now... Well, we know what this does. You know what? I'm going to sell you because I want to buy this. Oh, I have to sell it first, of course, and then buy this. Okay, cool. So now we're fully equipped. Slightly different because you can move in any direction using the cap, whereas dash versus the amulet, which is a straight line. Yeah, but you can use the, uh, the two of them together, which is kind of neat. If you really want to go like super fast but yeah if I want to get from like if I'm in a hurry to get across the map this is great I could just just fly around like this I love that I gotta, I gotta let myself uh, I gotta let my aspect meter get back up that's good enough I'm not very patient oh sweet One more. Damn it. It was originally created for dev purposes, originally for that exact reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder how often that happens. Where a developer will, will create an ability for, for them to use when they're playtesting, and they're like, you know what? Players might like this. Let's just leave it in. We'll add a regeneration uh, ability to it. You didn't even need to do that, honestly. But, yeah, I wonder how often that happens. What have we got? Focus Thirst, we've already got. Better Mousetrap. Wand Cap, no attributes, so no additional abilities. Our Studious Robe, that lowers our health capacity, but has aspect absorption. Hmm. Interesting. I want to try this, though. Because this is different. But it looks like the same. It's it's pretty much the same as this. The basic shaping cap that you start with. Better mousetrap. Oh. Hell, let's give it a shot. Um, let's put it here. I would figure pretty often. Yeah. I'm curious. So let's try it out. It sounds like it's just going to be a basic... Does a pretty good amount of damage, though. Oh, but then again, I also have that ability from... Uh, oh, yeah, while you were gone, I, I grabbed an ethereal item. The Patient Mage Hat. Which adds damage based on the fullness of the aspect meter. It's a pretty cool-looking hat, too, because without it, it's kind of boring. It looks like it's just got some gray, boring-ass hat. This actually makes him look like a real wizard. He definitely looks the part now, so I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> so yeah, this, this does a decent amount of damage, and it doesn't cost a lot of aspect, too. 
Wow. Huh. Want to know a secret combo that's super powerful? Does it involve any uh, things that I already have? Or are you spoiling it for me? If I'm going to find it out soon enough, I'll wait. But if it's something I'm not going to find without your help, lay it on me, man. A better mouse trap. Oh, silver, silver, silver. What did silver mean? Silver meant mystic. Yeah, mystic. A mystic item here. What does this do? A aspect capacity fifty, but increases our recharge rate. Ooh, ooh, this is hmm. Take the mystic? Yeah. All right. Will do. Give that a shot. Oh, that's small. But let's see. Um, well, let's try it out. Wait. Shoot. Oh, that fills up quick. Okay, I understand now. If you just do like a stick and move type of strategy where you're just laying in a couple shots, moving, laying in a couple shots and moving. That works really well. Okay, I understand now. I guess it would have to be a reason that that was a, a mystic item quality. Actually, what I was about to tell you about, by using a core with a low capacity, fast recharge with that, you're almost always at 100% aspect, which results in a constant 100% damage increase. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Especially if you're if you're focusing on moving and you're not f constantly firing your weapon. Yeah, because that was one thing I noticed. Like, let me see if I get all the way down to zero here. Like, even it's charging while I'm firing as well, which kind of makes that 50 aspect capacity seem like a bit misleading. Core and that hat synergize perfectly. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And especially if you have a, a, a weapon that deals a, quite a bit of damage. Unstoppable. Oh, it's Lady. What's she doing? She's sweep in the library and I don't know. Let's talk to her. Great to see you, friend. I have some tasks that I could use some help with for a reward, of course. Okay, so how does this work? Vanquisher. So wait. The money in... Uh, that's how much I make for the quest? Uh, hang on a second. Piercing augment. Defeat 25 enemies. So... Wait, I have to pay for this quest. Oh, that's different. But I get an augment for it afterwards. So I guess it's worth it. Wish I'd have found this sooner. Um, open 10 soul chests. Plus 5 healing augment. Oof. Successfully parry 50 attacks. Oh god, that's going to take me forever. <laughs> Corrective action. Deal 10,000 damage to enemies. I, I actually can't even afford this. Well, let's see. Can I... Oh, she's not letting... She's not letting me sell anything. Hmm. Well, let's do this one. Let's see how all of this works. There's nowhere else in here. <laughs> That's so handy. Oop. Those phantoms are... Oh, every single time you fire at them, they move? That's annoying. Yeah, they, they always end up... They always seem to end up behind me. Interesting. Oh, you slippery... So wait a minute. Then if I fire at them... And then just rush forward, they'll be where I was. So that's interesting. Ah, okay. Good to know for those guys. Let's 
get money. Ooh. What's about what's beyond here? Man, there's so much well, there is more dungeon to explore. I kinda wanna do that. Yeah, I go for every single coin I can find. I am greedy in games. Sorry. <laughs> and a fulfillment. Focus thirst. Oh, I guess I have to... I guess I have to get one of these. Um... I'm gonna get this because this is... This is mystic quality, right? So then I can sell that. Keep these guys away from me. <laughs> kind of. That's neat that you can just kind of work your way into an attack in order for you to be able to parry. Oh, you. Come on, what do you got? We're shooting at the wall. Oh, damn it, he got me. <laughs> So fun watching play. Hey, you made the game. If I'm having fun, it's because of that. Oh, this kind of sucks though. This is the only way that I have to heal right now. Um, I haven't used this in a while. Let's put this to number one. The healing there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially with this wand core and with this hat. Or not so much the hat, but with the wand core, like, you can sit here and... I'm just spamming the heal for that long. Wow. Okay, I understand what you mean now. I'm assuming that the rarity of these is going to... They're going to be harder to find in the full game, right? This usually... What I've seen sometimes is the demos will feature more... Like, a, a higher concentration of items just to show them off, right? And I get that. That's not a criticism, it's just an observation. Yeah, it needs to be balanced. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, that was easy. What do we got? No, I'm not changing my core. This is new. Winter bite cap. Breeze, ooh. That core will likely increase to ethereal as well. Okay. It it is it is pretty damn powerful. Oh. Oh, I don't know which one to choose. Whirlwind cap, I haven't played around with yet. Has the ability to push. That's got me curious. I'm gonna go with this. Let's try it out. Let's take that out. In the world of Encap. Let's see what this does. Oh. So, this just pushes enemies away? That's... Oh, that's awesome. Ah! Those, um, I don't know what the enemy types are called, but the ones that enhance the other enemies. Oof. Those things are dangerous. Especially when they're coupled with the phantoms. But I kind of like this whirlwind cat. This is interesting. Oh, I have to ask. Enchanted armor or gnarly for sure. Yeah, holy hell. I have to ask, though, because... This this wand cap is great, pushing enemies away. Will there be biomes that have environmental hazards in addition to the enemies as well? Because I'm just imagining like using this to push enemies into it. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, who's this? 
Mis oh, this is that miser dude. You mentioned him earlier. I can combine your wand caps for a fee. Underpay me, and I may just keep them for myself. Okay. What is this? So... This game is primarily enemy-focused for now, though. Fair enough. So he can combine my wand caps. Do they, so they can be... Can I just combine any two? What happens if I combine this with this? Wand caps must be the same type. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I have two wand caps of the same type. Okay. 20%. What does this mean? What's this here for? I can click in here and I can put something. Let's see. Tw whatever. What? Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. So, I have to put two wand caps in here of the same type. We've done that. And then I name my price. And this is 100% chance. Oh! Oh, he's literal here. He's being literal when he says, underpay me and I may just keep them for myself. Oh. Um, well, let's see. I want to see what happens either way. So, what number do we have to go for, like, 50-50? Oh, 600. So, what happens if I only give him 600 bucks? This is interesting. Let's risk it. So he's combined them. And gave it to me. Oh. So I got this for 600 bucks. And this does 90 DPS instead of 60. The lifesteal amount is the same. Well, let's try this. We can do that again, but we don't have any other ones. That's fine. 